Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Now, now if you try to see our code, we have did this update status and we are trying to show the courses. Everything so far, everything we have did it right. So before going to the users and all those things, so we will try to complete this delete course also. So if you have a button, something like a delete course, when I click on this button, we need to delete this entire course. If we have that concept also, then we can next target on this. What I can say, the animations and all those things, we'll try to do it. We'll do step by step. Progressively, we'll do it. Now let's implement this delete status, which is delete course, which is pretty simple. I will do it within uh, in this video, so you can have a look at that one. All. So here, for deleting this one, we need to add a button. So here, I will be adding a button, 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 and I will be using delete course, right? So here, I will be using the class class is equal to btn btn hyphen danger so i'll be writing it like this okay and we will be having a i will be implementing the click option so click is equal to and here i will write on course delete on course delete i will use this method that's it now we need to implement this method on course delete yeah here i will be using this on course delete and here I can write something like on course delete. So here I am using actually the GitHub pilot. So it will give you all the what I can say is uh, it will give you all the indications and all the suggestions for our code. It will give you automatically. So here it is giving you the index number and all those things. So if you anybody is interested, anybody is using the GitHub uh, copilot and all those things, please mention in the comment so that I can be able to know. Just now I am trying this one, uh, this one trial version. So you people also can have a look at this one. So on course delete of so we don't have any index number. So here this is our implementation. Oh, this is our courses. Sorry, I am implementing in the courses. That is the reason it is giving wrong suggestions. We should use it in the course.component.ts. So this is the way, right? So here on course. So here it will give you the course delete. So delete option. So this is the method which we will be using. And here you will be having a simple uh, so it will give you the suggestions uh, if you try to see here yeah so it will be giving oh sorry so it will be giving you the suggestions and everything it will give you the suggestions so if you try to see here yeah if it will give you the suggestions like this so now on course delete course deleted so we have a simple console thing and delete course so this is all good github copilot is giving me that these all suggestions now if i try to see here so delete course button we are able to see it and if i try to inspect the element and let's go into here uh, and in the in the console if i click on this delete course see the course deleted we are able to invoke the trigger the method now fine course is deleted for this one what we need to do is we need to emit an event so for this one what i will be using i did it output okay output course deleted new event emitter of white so this all github copilot has given me the suggestion okay let's take this one so here i am using either output course deleted is equal to new event emitter of void of this one so i am, I am not trying to send any data so just I'm taking it as a void. So fine, we got it. Now here I need to emit the value. So here I will be emitting this dot course deleted dot emit. So here it is automatically writing the code. So here this dot course deleted dot emit. So I am emitting this one on, on course delete. So where I need to catch this one in the courses dot html. So here. So here I will be writing. So let's see that whether uh, this one will give the option or not course delete is equal to on course delete of dollar event so here you will be able to see it now there is no need for us the dollar event why because we are not using we are not sending anything right so on course delete of dollar event and let's go to courses.component.ts and here i will be giving you the option on course delete okay and here we don't have anything so this is the oh we need to pass the index sorry so here courses we need to pass the index right so i am passing the index i um, let's take here and here I will be mentioning so whatever the thing I want so index index of type number okay so here I have mentioned this code so we got the course delete so what I need to do so here I need to delete the course automatically the github copilot has given me the suggestion that I, I am supposed to use that one only the splice method and it is trying to delete the splice so you are depending on the method name delete it is uh, the good help copilot I assumed that we need the we are trying to delete a course from the courses so we are taking this one that's it so now the course will be deleted automatically now if you try to see the output here 
so now if i want to delete this course let's delete this course remove it now if i do want to de delete this delete uh, javascript if i click on this one javascript has been successfully deleted so this is how we will be implementing the course delete option so here what we have did it in the course.html we have created a button delete course button and the course.component.ts we have created a course deleted a new event emitter and we are emitting the event and upon this one we are catching the event in the course delete on course delete and here we are splicing off we are removing this one so entire thing so most of the thing 50 percent i have did uh, using the help of github copilot only so if anybody is interested means so you can register for the github copilot so here you will be able to see so you can try it for the uh, what i can say trial version so they will give one month trial version then afterwards it will they will charge uh, ten dollars per every month so if anybody is interested so you can you can take a look at this one you are a pair programmer so it will it will open you sessions and all those things it will give you real time so just try to, uh, just uh, try to look at it one so maybe it could be useful or not uh, later on we can see so that's it guys so what i will try to do is this one i will commit this all the code in my video hyphen 17 new branch who are maybe having a doubts and all those things so they can take a look at this one so if you want a course on the github copilot and all those things please let me know in the comments so i will try to come uh, do the course in the github copilot also which will be useful for us so that is the thing so course delete this one i will come the code and i am publishing the branch so this one will be supported in some of the editors like visual studio visual studio code jet brains like this they have given this all things so if, if anybody want me to do the uh, playlist on this copilot also let me know i will try to do on this one also playlist so that's it guys so here we have committed we are maybe having a doubts on this one so they can go to the github.com slash angular animation so this is our project so we are maybe having a doubts if you want to refer the code means you can go to this branch okay particular video branch and you can take a look at this one so that's it guys this is all about the thing so don't forget to check this copilot also so it will be pretty much useful you can check the plans also so ten dollars per month will be there so if you pay for one year at a time so it will be hundred dollars per year so that means two months you'll be getting it as a free and this is for business thing so here you'll be able to see so if you write a comment automatically it will give you all the things so if you try to see here i will show you an example so here uh, rejects for phone number if i write it like this see and if i press enter automatically it will write the code for you constant phone is equal to like this and oh sorry and here it will write you it will it will write rejects for you also see so it has written the rejects see here so this is all the logic which was written automatically by the uh, github copilot only so here you will be able to see the example and rejects it is trying to do and here it is trying to do it so like this you'll be able to see so like this so there is so many things uh, loop from 1 to 1 200 okay so press enter so it will write the code for you for let i is equal to oh sorry sorry for let okay like this you can like type it yeah here it will write automatically the code so for let i is equal to c it is writing all the code if i is divisible by 3 and 5 or not so everything so it is trying to give you the logic everything so like this you will be able to get all the code so like this you will be able to get it so you, you can try, have a look at this one so i too didn't click completely so if you want me to do the playlist means so let me know i will do the playlist also for this one hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you